Hi, welcome to my channel, Naughty Gnome Crafts. My name is Sarah, and you can follow me over on Instagram as Naughty Gnome. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my summer heroes. No, not that kind of summer hero. What I mean is the clothing that was the real workhorses in my wardrobe, the ones that I reached for again and again, and I'm going to be going through them one by one, and I will link all of the items down in the description box with the videos that go along with them, and I'll be inserting pictures as we go so you can see what they look like on. So let's start with tops. The first top that I have to share with you was a little bit of a surprise to me. This one is a Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe tee. I have made 10 of these so far, and it was a little bit weird to me that this is the one that I wore the most this summer, but I think it's because of the V-neck. I do find that a V-neck is very versatile for the summer season and really all year round. It's a very nice neckline. It's not too wide, but it's not too low. It's just perfect. And then I also think because this is a print, but it's not like a crazy print, it still goes with a lot of different things in my wardrobe, but it's not just a plain white t-shirt. I can kind of jazz it up a little bit. I can wear plain bottoms and still have something kind of interesting on top. So I think that's why I wore this one so much this summer. It's also made out of a cotton spandex jersey, which is just so incredibly comfortable to wear. Number two on the list is in the wash, so I don't have it here to show you, but it is the Closet Core Tee Pattern. I sewed this for the Sew Frugal Challenge back in February, I think it was, and I made it out of another cotton spandex jersey in a, a dusty rose color. And what I really like about this particular top is the boxy fit and that it's cropped. I feel like it goes with a lot of my high-waisted bottoms. And um, it's also very loose and comfortable to wear because of the cotton spandex and the shape of it. And I also think that similar to the first one, it's not a print, it's a solid color, but it is a color and not a neutral. So I think that it mixes and matches nicely with other neutral bottoms in my wardrobe. So I think that's why I ended up wearing that one as much as I did. The third top is the Paradise Patterns Blama Tank. This one is made out of a bamboo rib knit. And I really like this one because it has a nice high neck. It's very fitted and so it layers really well underneath things like pinafore dresses or overalls, but you can also wear it with shorts or underneath a button up shirt. There's just lots and lots of different ways to wear this. And again, the fabric is very lightweight and comfortable to wear. This nice charcoal gray is a neutral color and so it does mix and match with some of the more colorful bottoms that are in my wardrobe if I want to wear prints on the bottom. And so I think that's why this one got so much wear this summer. The last top on my list is a rising star in my wardrobe. This is the Sewing Machina Eckhart Tank. I made this one in July or June, I think, um, not that long ago, but I have worn it a ton since finishing it. The reason I think that I wear this one as much as I do is because of the bright red color. Red is my favorite color. I love that it is cropped and that it has this beautiful square neckline. I really like the square necklines in general. I just think that they're a very flattering shape for my body type. And this particular one is really nice because it lays nice and flat against the chest. It doesn't gape. And this garment is super, super easy to wear because it has a built-in bra with foam cups. So when it's really, really hot outside and I don't wanna to have to worry about wearing all those layers and undergarments, this is really nice to just throw on. Just like the Blama tank, it layers really well. And because it's cropped, you don't need to tuck it in. It is just the perfect hot weather garment. And I do wanna make more of these next summer because I just think that they're just so useful in my wardrobe. Now let's move on to bottoms. The first bottom on my list I want to share with you is the Megan Nielsen Dawn Shorts. I made these um, earlier in the summer and I really like these because they are just the classic jean short in a medium wash. They go with everything. They're high-waisted. They work really well with my more cropped tops that I've made. These are pretty comfortable to wear. They've worn in really nicely and I think that they mix really well with my casual wardrobe. I would definitely look into making more of these next summer in a white or a black. I just think you can't go wrong with a classic denim short. The second bottom is another pair of shorts. This is the Papercut Patterns Palisade Shorts, and these are made out of a heavyweight linen from the fabric store, um, the US version. And I really like these shorts because they are a light neutral. They go with lots of things. They're super, super comfortable to wear. These are over a year old now, and they've just washed and worn really nicely. They have a nice heavy drape to them. And this pocket style is really interesting and unique, and it kind of stands out a little bit, even though this is a basic. It just kind of elevates the look a little bit, and it looks really nice. You can dress it up with like a button-up shirt or you can dress it down with a tank top. These shorts are just so comfortable to wear that that's why I keep reaching for them again and again. The final bottom was a little bit of a surprise to me. This is the Little Pomegranate Sabina skirt. This was the other piece that I made for the Sew Frugal Challenge. 
Now initially when I finished sewing the skirt, I wasn't that thrilled about it because it is a little bit poofier with the gathers at the waistline. And generally speaking, I don't really like the way that that looks on me, but I have really worn the skirt quite a few times this summer. And I think that the reason is partly because of the fabric. It's so soft and drapey and flowy. It's a very comfortable skirt to wear, even though it's long, it's not hot at all. And also I just feel like this print, um, this sort of ditzy floral, mixes and matches really well in my wardrobe. You can wear it with a lot of different colors. It's actually fairly neutral even though it is a print. So I think that's why it's been such a versatile piece of my wardrobe. And of course it has pockets. Next up, I have two overalls to share with you, although I only have one on the hanger here because the other one is in the wash. I have worn my ready to sew jazz overalls so much this summer. They have just been my absolute go-to loungewear piece. I have this one, which is in a lightweight denim from Joanne, and then I have another one that is out of an olive linen that I bought from Stylemaker Fabrics. Again, this is just the ultimate loungewear piece. After I finish my workday and I come home and I just wanna change it to comfy clothes, this is such a comfortable thing to throw on. You can wear it with a tank top if it's really hot, or you can wear it with a t-shirt if it's not as hot. The short openings are so loose and flowy. It's almost like wearing a skirt. It's very, very breezy and comfortable to wear, easy to get in and out of. I even think these would be perfect to take it to the beach and wear it over your swimsuit as a cover-up. I just think that this is so incredibly comfortable and I'm so glad that I made a couple of these this summer. I can't believe that it took me so long to make overalls, but I'm glad that I finally did because I just got so much use out of it. If you are enjoying this video, I would really love it if you'd give me a thumbs up because it helps more people find my channel. Thank you so much for your support. The final thing I have to share with you is a dress. And if you are not new to my channel, you're probably sick of hearing about it, but I just love it so much I could not leave it out. This is the Pattern Emporium Every Day's a Weekend Dress. I just finished it relatively recently, but I've basically been wearing it weekly ever since then. It is just such a comfortable cotton spandex jersey dress. This is an art gallery jersey. It's very, very soft, very lightweight. And even though there's these tiers on here, it doesn't weigh it down. It's not heavy. It kind of flows in the breeze. It's just really, really great to wear on hot days. Again, it has that beautiful V-neck that's just the right kind of V. And I absolutely love this print. I just love wearing the stress and I could not leave it off of my list of summer heroes. So that wraps up my list of summer heroes. I would love to hear in the comments what were your most worn garments of the summer. I think it's always good to look back at the end of a season and reflect so that I can go into next year thinking about what kinds of things that I want to make based on the things that I actually wore. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to link one where I talk about my favorite summer dresses. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that you take time out of your day to watch my videos and I will see you again next time.